We are given the average monthly temperature for uh, Juno, Alaska, and this is uh, given as y equals 16 sine pi by 6 x plus 2 pi by 3 plus 40, and this is in uh, degree Fahrenheit. And we have to determine this the highest average monthly temperature. So to determine the highest average monthly temperature, uh, since this function involves a sine function, uh, let's understand the maximum value of the sine function is 1. So all that we do is uh, we plug in the maximum value that is for this part, for the sine part, we plug in 1. So therefore it becomes 16 times of 1 plus 40. And this gives the maximum value that is 16 plus 40 is uh, 56. So we see, see, so we see that uh, the highest uh, average uh, temperature is uh, 56 degree Fahrenheit. So the answer for this question is 56 degree Fahrenheit. This is the highest average monthly temperature. We now answer uh, part B. So here we have to determine the month in which the highest uh, average monthly temperature occurs. That is, we have to determine the month in which uh, the temperature is 56 degree Fahrenheit. So for that, uh, as we know that the maximum value of sine function is 1. And this occurs uh, when the sine of this angle is pi by 2. That is, when the sine expression is pi by 2, we get the maximum value as 1. So, and we can form an equation involving this uh, expression inside the sine part. And then we equate that to pi by 2. So, we can write down this as uh, pi by 6. This is the expression inside the sine function plus uh, 2 pi by 3. And this must uh, equal pi by 2. Only then we get uh, the maximum value as uh, 1. So, let's solve x from this uh, equation. I'm going to subtract uh, 2 pi by 3 from both sides. So, when I do that, I get pi by 6 x. This is x equals uh, pi by 2 minus uh, 2 pi by 3. Let's simplify this uh, right side expression by making a common denominator. The common denominator is the product of these two. And this means I have to multiply the first fraction by uh, by 3 as well as divide by 3. So when I do that, uh, 3 times of pi is 3 pi and 2 times of 3 in the denominator is 6. And similarly for the second fraction, I have to multiply and divide by the number 2. So when I do that, 2 pi times of 2 is uh, 4 pi and then divided by 2 times uh, 3 is 6. So this equals uh, 3 pi minus 4 pi over 6. And uh, this equals 3 pi minus... Okay, it uh, looks like uh, I just uh, made a mistake here. This is uh, actually negative pi by 3. I had to change this to negative. So this will become negative. 2 pi by 3 and uh, so then we have to add positive pi by 3, 2 pi by 3. So therefore this will become plus and here it will become 3 pi plus uh, 4 pi over 6. So 3 pi plus 4 pi is uh, 7 pi over 6 and on the right side we have pi by 6 x. Now we divide both sides by pi by 6 so that uh, this pi by 6 will get cancelled. So we get x equals uh, 7 pi by 6 divided by pi by 6. This can be simplified by rewriting the denominator fraction as a multiple of reciprocal of that denominator fraction. The reciprocal of pi by 6 is 6 by pi. So I can cancel this pi pi and then 6 6. So finally I get x equals 7. So therefore when uh, x equal to 7, the highest uh, uh, average temperature occurs. Uh, otherwise, we can say x in terms of months. Uh, since uh, 1 represents January month and 2 represents uh, February month, uh, when we continue like this, we, uh, we can easily determine that 7 represents the month July. So, the answer for part B is, it is uh, July. Let's answer uh, part C. So here we have to calculate the annual average temperature. So this is basically the average 
of the monthly temperature uh, this is uh, sum of the average monthly temperatures so this is uh, sum of average monthly temperatures divided by 12 because uh, in an year we have 12 months so we need to first uh, uh, determine the uh, month average monthly temperatures for each month using this uh, temperature function that is given as y equals the 16 times of sine expression so first uh, we can calculate for x equal to 1 that is for the month january all that we do is uh, we plug in x equal to 1 into this expression and uh, determine its value so it becomes 16 times of sine of uh, uh, pi by 6 times of x equal to 1 minus uh, 2 pi by 3 plus 40 so let's simplify this so this equals y equals 16 times of sine of this is pi by 6 we can calculate this over here minus uh, 2 pi by 3 we can make this a common denominator which is 6 and this will be pi minus uh, we have to multiply and divide by 2 so that this becomes 6 and 2 pi times 2 is uh, 4 pi pi minus 4 pi is uh, negative 3 pi by 6 and this in fact equal to we can reduce it to negative pi by 2 so i'm going to put negative pi by 2 here plus 40. so either we can plug this uh, expression directly into the calculator or we can also determine uh, using the standard trigonometric values so this is becoming as uh, we can use the identity the trigonometry identity or the value of uh, negative angles so according to that this is uh, negative of uh, sine of pi by 2 that is sine of uh, negative pi by 2 equals negative of sine pi by 2 plus 40 so this equals 16 times sine of pi by 2 is 1 so it is uh, 16 times negative 1 plus 40 so this equals 16 minus 40 is uh, i'm sorry this is negative 16 plus 40 and this equals uh, 24 so this should be in degree fahrenheit so this is the average monthly temperature for the month january so likewise we have to calculate for the remaining months from uh, february march until uh, december so here i have calculated and uh, put them in the table so these are the average monthly temperatures for each of the month and then we have to sum this one we have to add all this uh, temperatures and we get uh, total as 480 degree this is in uh, degree fahrenheit since the unit of the temperature is uh, degree fahrenheit now to calculate the annual average temperature we take this uh, total that is uh, 480 degree fahrenheit uh, divided by 12 and this gives uh, 480 divided by 12 is uh, 40 and this is 40 degree fahrenheit so this is the annual average temperature